Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I just want to show you a small experiment. We will be measuring a leg created by zombies. So here is a five by five room with this one spot that is closest to this villager, high guy. And there is no direct path to him and no other spot as close as that one. Now I've also built a leg measuring system. Those two zombies circulating should serve that purpose. So let's fill the pit with zombies and let's see. So right now I have 200 zombies tracking that one poor villager and you can see there is still no leg even though there is no path to him. But the leg will appear pretty soon. I just need to flip this lever and that leg should be enormous. So let's do it and the mobs are stopped. Interesting, like in some movie it is because I just moved this block and that opened this pit to outside world. Uh, so now every zombie is trying to find a path and testing about 20,000 blocks around before it was just 26 blocks. So there is a huge difference and that is the leg machine. We can flip it again and the game is overcompensated for a moment and now it is okay. Um, also don't forget that if there is no path uh, then the AI needs to calculate the closest block from all those 20,000 blocks around. For that you need a square root and things like that. So that is why there is so much lag. Um, so the final lesson is if you have a zombie tracking a villager without any path to him it is okay only when there is not much potential space where that zombie could go. Uh, and let's finish this video with a barbecue. <laughs> By the way, I've created this video also because we will need this knowledge for the next one. Uh, so I will change uh, that known phrase. And I am saying, try this at home. It is really fun. <laughs> and that's it. Thank you for watching and bye bye.